here with um, lesson 3 of MySQL. Today we'll be learning renaming tables, uh, deleting using where clause, qu query using count, count as, sum as, from, average from, minimum from, maximum from, group by, order by, descending and ascending. We'll be using Workbench as in the previous lessons. You can use MySQL or SQL. Okay, first off, load up uh, MySQL, enter your password, then I open up Workbench, load the instance. Okay, first off, as usual, we use we load the database that we'll be running. We do that by using the hacked command, uh, the use command, and we'll be using the same database we've been creating, the hack mods database, or whatever you've created in the previous lessons. Show tables. We'll do that to um, show the tables within the database. Okay, first off, we're going to alter a table, uh, the credentials table. We're going to rename it using the rename command and we'll call it personal inf uh, details. Okay, next we'll alter the table and in the credit uh, the uh, what are you going to the PS3 games. I need to remove the underscore as it's annoying for the tutorial. So, we'll just make it PS3 games. Okay, so now run it with alt uh, control and enter or you can press the lightning at the top. Okay, remove that. Okay, now let's get into it. Just follow along. Pause if you need to. Okay, we'll alter the, the table PS3 games. We'll add add a column. We'll call the column uh, total spent. We'll start populating the tables with data in this lesson so that we can start getting on to good stuff in, in following lessons. Okay, we'll be populating it with a, a numeric um, data type, and six two means six in decimal. Uh, so it's six on the left and two on the right of the decimal, and we'll be adding it after the console column. Copy and paste that, so you don't have to keep typing. Okay, next off, we'll be adding another column. This one will be called Game Cost. Same deal, numeric, because it's um, currency. Okay, we'll be adding it after the column we just created, which was total spent, or whatever column you just created in your table and database. Okay, same deal, add one more column. To a different table this time we'll use the identity table and we'll, we'll um, call the column uh, email we'll add a few columns and, and um, populate the records um, so that we can start getting on to um, inner joins and outer joins and um, more advanced statements in the next lessons to come okay we'll be adding that column after the um, I've forgotten what the column names were. Hold on. Okay. After the um, gender column. We'll copy and paste that because we want to add another column to the identity table. And we'll call this one address. Or whatever you like. Depending on whatever industry or whatever you're into that you're learning this stuff for. Okay, we'll give it a 128 uh, Varchar uh, allowance. Okay, and we'll add that column after the phone number column. Is it underscore? I can't remember. Okay. I'll just check that that's the column name. Yep, phone number underscore. Okay, I'll just go through and show you the table so you can see the, the new columns being entered. Okay, this one will add to the um, personal the personal details column uh, table. 
that we just renamed in the previous statement. Oh, I think I've spelt that wrong. And we'll be adding the address column and we'll give it a varchar of 128 and we'll add it after the completed year 10 column. Now we'll run it. Uh, actually we'll change that to, we'll trade, yeah, add a different column called trade certified in this, this table. You can, as I said, you can end it whatever you like. I'm just going through populating with um, random stuff just to learn by. Actually we'll call it licenses. Tickets. Now I'll call it license. Okay now run it. by pushing the lightning or control and enter uh, control shift and enter to add the whole script or it's just control and enter to enter the line that's under the cursor ok I did type that wrong, personnel run it ok Okay, now we'll be just um, loading the tables. Soon we'll enter some values, some more records, some more columns, and um, populate the tables completely. So that as we build up through the lessons, we'll have more to work with, and um, can get into more, more um, advanced stuff. This is only very basic stuff, this is just learning. So you get the understanding of it. Okay, select from identities table, now we'll load that one. So we've got phone now, there's a new columns we've ended, at email and address. Okay, now I'll just go to MySQL. You could be typing the commands into here, or you could be using Workbench or any other like pro program. Okay, so we've first off used the hack mods. We always use something to load the database. Then we'll um, select data from. Select is equivalent of search. Or query. Okay, we've loaded the personal details um, table. Next, we'll load the. Um, oh, we didn't. It's not credentials anymore. We renamed it. Actually, no, we didn't rename it. I'll do the PS3 table anyway next, and then I'll go back and work out why that didn't work. Select, oh, it's identity. That's why the table's identity, not credentials. I typed, because we renamed um, credentials. Okay, so there's the data within MySQL. This is what we're doing with Workbench, but in the graphical sense. Okay, so rub that out, clear the log. Okay, now we'll be doing, um, what are we going to do next? And we'll start populating some data. Okay, we'll up update the identity table and we'll set, we'll use the set statement clause, which, and we'll set email equals and we'll enter some emails for the columns for the records okay so um, just enter some ra uh, random emails hack mods channel and I'll add the hack mods email somebody wants to 
post me something, whatever, don't spam though. Okay, and we'll set the email column to, to the email that you're inserting and we'll give it the where um, ID is three. So hacked mods on the table below is um, going to have an email of that um, stated email there. Okay, we'll do it again. We'll change the ID. We'll change, give them all an email address and then all, all of them an address. Okay, same as one, two, and three records are going to have emails next. As soon as we hit the um, control, shift, and enter, which inserts the whole script that we've just wrote there, the, the six lines. If you just push control and enter, you'll only enter the line. For example, right now it's on six, you'll only enter line six. So you need to push control and enter to insert the whole script. And now we'll enter the address tables uh, column. We'll start populating it. I'll just put some random random details for the address. So one, two, and three is getting an address now. Plus one, two, and three is getting an email within the identities table. we've populated them now we'll show it with the select command statement query oh we missed one okay I'll just quickly enter that Remember, use the set command. Set is like insert in a way, but it doesn't insert the whole line, it inserts only the table that you state. I'll just put it as earth. Where ID is equivalent of one, which is my name. And address is null. We'll be entering um, Earth. Okay, now we'll um, just check that. You don't have to check it. It's just I'm showing you that it worked. Okay, now actually I'll skip that. We'll we'll go to um, next. We'll move on to another table. I think we'll insert in data into the PS3 games. Oh no, actually we'll go to personal details. If I can spell it right. Uh, what have I done? Personnel. Oh no, asterisk. You gotta put the asterisk, that get that's a wild card. So it'll populate with all records within the table. Okay, so update personal details and um We'll start inserting data into them now. Set the um, the license column and set the um, other column with some data. Okay, so licenses car where ID is equivalent to one. I hope you're starting to understand now. Line one, uh, ID one is the primary key, and it's it's where the data is going to be inserted to on that line. Soon, uh, in the next following lessons, we'll get into primary keys, foreign keys, and um, entities using the ER diagram. 
just get through the basic stuff first things a little bit bodgy today Okay, select asterisk um, so selecting wild card from the ps3 games table so therefore it brings up all records okay and we've got two empty columns total spent and game costs so we'll now start populating them tables with data oh, I might actually yeah we've got one three and four because in the last lesson we um we deleted a record to teach the delete command so we'll adjust that now so that it's not out of place ps3 games table okay run that okay so now we've got one two and four so we'll just change the four now back to a three so we don't don't have it out of alignment Okay, so set ID, uh, f uh, th th yeah, we've done that now. Okay, so now game cost, we'll start populating the data for the game cost ca column. Okay, $50, because remember we set it to a um, numeric with six and two, so that can be six on the left of the decimal and two on the right, currency. Okay, so where ID equals one, now that's populated with $50 for that game. Or whatever you got in your category uh, column. Okay, next one where ID equals three, we'll set that. So now you got that that column is uh, populated now. So now we'll go to the total spent uh, column. We'll start entering data under it. Records. Uh, uh, across ways, columns are down ways, same as any database. Okay, um, I'll just add up these quick sums in my head. 137 where ID equals 2 so we're going up ways I might actually change this later I'm not sure I'm just trying to change different different um, numeric uh, to, uh, amounts so that we can use the sum and average and all that um, other uh, statements in, in, in a little bit soon later in the video okay so now then two columns are populated Okay, now we'll select the other table. Personal details with the asterisk wildcard. Okay, so now we're just missing trade certified. Uh, we might rename that actually. Oh no, we won't, we'll leave that. This is good practice going through populating tables renaming stuff changing stuff altering stuff inserting new records as it's um, good practice as stated okay license we'll just give it a C class license where ID equals one or power Okay, where ID equals one. Now same deal. Just copy and paste so that you don't um, have to retype over and over and over. You can if you want, but uh, you won't keep up. Okay, sticks. No, we don't sticks. Just random. <laughs> don't even think they're the right license codes but anyway okay 
enter them data with the control shift and enter or press the lightning okay next we'll be doing the select from personal details table okay now that see all the values are all filled all the records are um are full now we'll check the identities table all the records are full and we'll check the PS3 games table okay and they're all full insert a new f a couple more records just so we're starting to fill up the table with um, more than three records per table as I stated before this is good practice so I wouldn't give it a skip if I was you okay enter a new game with a um, primary key ID of four a Gran Turismo 5 game PS3 console total spent will be uh, we'll say fifty dollars it's actually a pretty good game so probably worth more but anyway okay next we need to put in the um, t game cost fifty dollars and the date purchased remember from lesson one all, all the values will be um, separated by commas and uh, rounded uh, have surrounding um, quotation marks single quotation marks okay next we'll enter another record we'll change this one to Grinch's base 6 which was even better so we'll increase the price and we'll change the date of purchase because it was a later release game okay okay we'll run that oh, what have I done duplicate primary key oh, okay because the primary keys already had a four because we deleted record two which dropped down the primary key from three down to two and and four was this the system thought the four was still existing but it's not so we got five and six now run that they're fine now so now we should have six games within the, the PS3 games table there we go we've got six games and we've got a duplicate so for good practice we'll delete one and drop the drop the numbers on the primary key ID Okay, so we use the update PS3 games statement and we'll just use the set statement set ID to um, oh no we won't actually no, no. we need to delete the record so it's delete record uh, it's delete from PS3 games where ID equals whatever you want to delete we, we're deleting number four so ID four and semicolon to uh, finish the command and then control shift and enter to, to execute so now we've deleted record 4 now we need to change 5 and 6 down a, down a rank so we do that with the uh, update statement update PS3 games table set game uh, ID to 4 where where um, ID equals 5 Not double quote, not double quotation. It's single. Okay, we're already equals five. Same deal. Copy and paste. Paste, but change the dot details. Where ID equals six are uh, four now, are uh, six now, and five now.
So now we've populated the complete table with records and we've added more records than previously in there with three. So now we'll update the PS3 games and we'll set, what are we setting? Oh, we'll, we'll change the total spent. It's, um, it's not supposed to be like that, I mucked up. So we'll um, change that now. So where ID equals one, we'll set that to $50 as the game cost. Just transfer that data across from one column to the other. Oh, um, duplicate it, I'm sorry. Okay, where ID equals one, copy and paste that because we've got to change two more record, uh, one more record. So set that to two and the second price was $65 for Modern Warfare 3, which is an awesome game. Okay, we don't need that line. That one's already populated, but anyway. Okay, now execute it. Select asterisk from PS3 games to show that it worked. There we go, it's, it's uh, altered the table data for total spent column within the PS3 games table. Okay, so now we can start doing some sums, average, uh, total, count, more advanced statements, or well, not advanced, but basic advanced. Okay, so now we're summing the total spent column. You insert the sum statement after the select instead of an asterisk because you want it to perform a function. So it selects sum and then the column that you want to add up. So total spent separated by uh, commas and uh, surrounded by brackets. Comma. Oh, oh no, I might not do, I'm there yeah, won't do an in-depth in statement. On this one, we'll just do a basic one to show you. So sum total spent, it, it, it added up all the, the column records within the total spent column. So now we'll rename that column for the, for the record uh, as it comes back. So it'll come back as spent on PS3 games. Now the total, there we go, spent on PS3 games equals that. So we've created, um, no, we've displayed it as a new column, but it wasn't created because it was only a select statement. Okay, now we'll do the sum game cost as and we'll change the game we'll change the um name of the the table uh, the column we created actually no we won't we won't worry about that okay so select count now we use the count um, statement clause clause sorry select the counts clause and we'll use ID so it count it's going to count how many games are in the ps3 games table by the primary key so we found five games number of games owned we've renamed the table column to I've not renamed it but shown it as okay now we'll start expanding the statement There we go. We'll expand the statement now. Okay, so we're going to select sum total spent. So it's going to add up the total spent. And we're going to um, output it as um, spent on PS3 games. Comma. And we're going to count game costs. No, uh, ID. So we'll know how many games we've got, how, mu how much we've spent, and we'll give the total, uh, we'll call it games owned. For amount of games, which is comes from the count ID column, uh, a statement. Okay, now the statement's got, starting to get a bit longer, so... What else can we insert into the statement from PS3 games table? Okay, we'll run that. 
So we got spent three hundred and seventeen dollars on games. Number of games is five, and we've renamed. Uh, we've shown the columns as different names. Now I'll clear the the log. Okay, now we'll do a select average. AVG stands for average, so we're going to get the average, which is all the all the um, prices added together and divided by the amount of of items to get a um, round round number, an average it's called. So and we'll, and we'll output it as an average game cost column. from the PS3 games table. So now we've got average cost of $63, the sum of the total amount spent column. So now we'll do a um, select minimum, we'll, we'll find the, the lowest priced game from the game cost column and we'll output it as um, cheapest game. from the PS3 call our table. Okay, there we go. Cheapest game was $50. Now we don't know what it was, so we'll insert that um, a um, statement to tell it to display the name of the game. So do that by comma and then the name of the column that you want to add as well. So we the statement saying select the minimum game cost from game cost as and insert it as cheapest games and also look for the game name tar column from the PS3 games table. There we go. We got the cheapest game it was Modern Warfare 4, which was no good in my opinion. Okay, so now we'll do the maximum statement. You can have min or max, minimum or maximum highest or lowest so they've uh, that was the cheapest games game cost $80 oh, it hasn't updated the statement okay now we'll insert it as dearest game highest price game there we go it was Modern Warfare 4 $80 so that doesn't make sense oh yes it does Okay, so now we'll be doing the um, select and we start using order by and group by. So we'll select asterisk from the PS3 table, so select wildcard, which means all records. We'll be using the order by date of purchase. Okay, so now we've there we go. We've we've ordered the state the the table by the column or date of purchase from lowest to highest. So that's um, descending. So uh, ascending. Sorry. So we'll now that's descending. So there's ascending. ASC stands for ascending. DSC stands for descending. So therefore, now we've got the highest amount of data, the latest version down to the oldest version. Okay, now we'll expand the the statement. We're selecting game name, we're selecting ID, we're selecting uh, the total spent and the console. No, we'll yeah, game cost. Okay. As And we'll select game cost is going to come up as um, price. Okay, we'll use the count function count clause, uh, clause so it's count then it's going to count the total spent and it's going to so it's going to output the game name the ID it's going to count the total spent it's going to um, output the game cost as price so we're going to have to do a sum for game cost 
Okay, we'll do sum for total spent. There we go. So we've got total spent, that amount, price of that game. And the ID equals 1 because that was the first record we inserted into the table. PS3 games. Okay, we'll nearly close this lesson off a bit. We'll just do a few more functions and whatnot. And then in the end, I'll show you how to output your script as one file using Workbench for um, re-injection if you accidentally drop your database or table, which was taught how to do in lesson one. So there you go. We've changed the order by uh, to ascending and used it by date of purchase. This time we'll do, do it by ID. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, whereas it was date of purchase, which would have been um, in ascending, would have been starting at 2014, working its way down to 2000. Okay, so now with, I'll show you how to um, export your data as a one script SQL using Workbench. Select your database. Next off, go through, make sure your tables are all selected and then go to the options make sure that the first three are selected on the left and dump events is on the right and then we'll go through click the three dots to select where you want to output your, your script so I'll just save mine onto the desktop okay lesson three dot script dot SQL Okay, save that. Okay, that's done beautifully. With them three options selected and go into advanced, you need to have the first three, then skip three, then three, and then skip one, two, three, four, five, and then go one and two. That way you select to insert the table statements, the record statements. Okay, then hit the export. There you go, it's outputted the file in one script and it has all your inserts. There's your, your one script of your database you've created in a text file. So you can re-inject it using um, MySQL or whatever you're running. I'm HackMod. Please like and subscribe. Support the channel.